No, I did not cut my hair. It is just in a black, almost invisible clip thing. One, I want long anime girl hair. So, I would never cut this freaking mane. Yo, what is up everybody? I am Ami Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, motherfucker. So, if you've been following me on Instagram or Twitter, or if you have not been keeping tabs on my community tab, which you should, you may have noticed that I have been stuck in hell. Literal hell. Has been hotel hell. Literally, I don't know how it took me this long to get on this train. I literally discovered it a week after the pilot came out. What the fuck is wrong with me? I, I don't know, I can't tell you. But apparently, has been hotel, has been a thing, like we've been nooses, and I'm very late to the party. My apologies, but then again, is this new? Um, no. But I am not looking back. And because I am very, very obsessed with has been hotel right now, I thought, why not make a video about it somehow, some way? Then I'm like, fuck it. Been hotel cafe. Why not a freaking has been hotel cafe? So that's what we go and do. So if you are new to my channel, then you probably have no clue that I have done a bunch of cafes in the past, and usually all of them are anime based because usually I take the Japanese menus from the cafes in Japan and then I translate them and then I remake them for a video. I decided to make the recipes and the menu by myself, and of course with help from you guys because I apologize for all of the spamming Instagram and. Twitter post. I'm very indecisive. But yeah, this is the very, very first cafe where we are going off of our own original recipes. So enough of that. My freaking intros are always too long. Let's get started. And also all of this info I got from Wiki, so don't kill me if it's not accurate. And first we got is our baby cinnamon roll. Our first drink is for our girl, Charlie. And I was looking on the Wiki page and it said that she liked Frappuccinos. She seems like a very vanilla person. And I don't know, when I look at her jacket, I always thought it was more peachy. And besides there's fucking way too much strawberry everything in this video. So for Charlie's drink, she will be having a peach vanilla frappuccino. So for Charlie's drink, you will need whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, peach syrup, vanilla syrup, red fondant, and gold sprinkles and milk. So first you want to do is grab your red fondant, cause we making fucking devil horns, bitch. Clean up your surface area, your table, cause a hoe did not, cause a hoe was lazy. Put powdered sugar on your working surface so it does not just stick everywhere and make a huge ass mess. And I just did it by hand, I just eyeballed it, and just made the shape of devil horns. Put them in the fridge so they can harden. Next, what you want to do is grab your glass and then you want to coat the inside of the glass with our gold sprinkles cuz a bitch is f***ing royalty she's literally the princess of hell and next you want to grab your peach syrup and just put it on the bottom you know I usually do that for gradient purposes grab your blender put in your milk ice cream vanilla syrup and some ice and blend that ass up pour it into your glass then you can get a spoon and like scoop up the peach flavoring it did not gradient that well I did not expect that but you get the idea you mix it it's gonna taste like peach put some whipped cream on top add some more gold sprinkles cuz a bitch is a princess cuz a bitch is royalty and then add your devil horns I do know the placement made them look like cat ears but you know what I was not looking at my camera at the time but just bend them a little more and then they will look better and then precious cinnamon roll Charlie's peach vanilla frappuccino is done next drink is for the lovely Vaggie and for Vaggie's drink I wanted to make something a little more spicy because Vaggie is confirmed to be Salvadorian so for this drink we're gonna be doing a horchata and even though horchata originated in North Africa, it is still a staple traditional drink in the Spanish culture. I live in a Hispanic household. My grandma loves to freaking spend all day making horchata. I know! So for Vaggie's drink, what you're gonna need is horchata. And I'm using this instant one I got from my market. But if you got like five hours to kill and wanna like go make some traditional horchata, you do that, sir! But we lazy up in this bitch, so we not gonna do that. Next, what you wanna do is get your pink fondant, mold it to make her eggs. 
and optional for this drink if you want it to be more gray I decided to do another drink mixed with black chocolate melts which is what we did with my diabolic lovers cafe video how we got the purple and yellow drinks so if you want the drink to be more gray like baggy you can do that but if not just enjoy some freaking nice horchata get another cup put in your water mix up your horchata mixture and then pour in your drink and then I had this gray reusable straw save the turtles which I thought was perfect for baggies perfect and then place your eggs on top and then bam baggies drink is done I actually never tried horchata I know my grandma's made it a bajillion times did I want it when she made it no but then I tried it with the mixture and I'm like this is I kind of like it, so I'm gonna go drink some horchata with mi abuela next time. And next drink we got is for our baddest, baddest bitch on the block. We got Cherry Bomb. And when I was researching, trying to figure out what to do for Cherry Bomb's drink, I found there was actually a shot drink called Cherry Bomb. So that is what we will be doing. For Cherry Bomb's drink, you will need Red Bull, Grenadine Syrup, Cherry Syrup, or if you want the traditional alcoholic drink, you can replace the Cherry Syrup with Cherry Vodka. Um, ignore the tonic water. It was like 4 a.m. when I filmed this video. You don't need the tonic water. Um, just ignore that, please. Leave me alone! Get your glass. No ice for this one. Pour in your Red Bull. And for a little color and a little flavor splash, you're just gonna want to pour a little, just a drop of Grenadine Syrup. Next, you're gonna need a shot glass. Pour your Cherry Syrup or Cherry Vodka. And and there she goes! Drop it into the glass. This drink was really fun to do and y'all know friggin former Red Bull addict. And next drink we got is for best boy, one of my favorite boys, and I'm pretty sure most of y'all favorites too, Angel Dust. And this drink was probably the most pain in the ass to do. Mostly because I had so many inspirations for this drink and I had so many ways I wanted to go and I really somehow, some way, wanted to incorporate the white stripes but I need to realize gravity is a thing. But I finally came up with ones that I was happy with. And the first drink for Angel Dust is gonna be a shot. For Angel Dust's first drink you will need vanilla syrup, strawberry syrup, powdered sugar, and I wanted to make sure that we used powdered sugar because it looks like angel dust, milk, and for my lactate peeps, lactate milk, white cotton candy, and Irish creamer. And if you about that liquor life, replace it with Irish cream liqueur. I got the inspiration because I was on Google. I literally found this drink called the daddy sucking cowboy and i was like this is perfect this is perfect for angel dust first you want to get a plate put on some vanilla syrup or like corn syrup whatever you get onto one plate and powdered sugar on the other grab that glass and then coat the rim with syrup and then powdered sugar next you want to grab a cup that has like the little pointy spout for easy pouring first you want to pour your strawberry syrup and just a little bit of milk we want it to look more pink instead of red but we still want the thickness of the syrup so then other layers of liquid don't get through. Grab your glass and carefully pour the liquid into it, about a third of way. Next, you want to get a spoon and your Irish creamer and slowly pour just a little stream. Carefully raise your spoon as you do so to create the layer. And next, you want to just make some strawberry milk with your milk and strawberry syrup. Grab your spoon again and then carefully layer the strawberry milk on top. And then get your white cotton candy for Form it into like a bowl to create angel dust's poof and then place it on top and then it will melt very very fast so if you had a party or something drink that shit real quick see i tried my best to be like a bartender and do like the layer thing it's a little sloppy but i did my best and i was trying to think of another drink to do for angel dust and i was just really indecisive how about a classy classy drink for our boy and he loves the bar as seen in the pilot how he wants the bar he loves to drink, he loves to drink some liquor. So I made a drink based on the cocktail drink, the Pink Lady. All you will need is powdered sugar, cotton candy again, grenadine syrup, pink lemonade, and an egg. And to start off the drink, you wanna get a separate glass, put in about a cup of pink lemonade, and just a hint of grenadine just to make the color pop a little more and intensify the flavor. Uh, yo, girls talking like a bartender! I am not. Get another cup, get your egg, and separate the white yolk because that's all y'all need and next I finally get to use my bartender mixy thingy again slap that shit on or just like use a cup of stable one that would be good if you don't got a mixy thingy use like a milk frother or whisk it to make it foamy and for this drink we are also creating the white 
angel dust powdered sugar rim so you want to get another plate of vanilla syrup or corn syrup whatever you get and powdered sugar. You wanna bring back your pink lemonade, pour in some ice, dunk your egg white froth in, and then shake it up again. Next, you wanna grab your nice sophisticated glass, coat the rim in the syrup and the powdered sugar, grab your mixed drink, and get a strainer, and then drain your cocktail. And as you can see on the top, you get the nice white rim on the top of the glass, and then you cannot forget the poof. Get your white cotton candy, make another ball, and plop it on the top of your glass. And then boom, Angel Dust's Pink Lemonade White Cotton Candy Pink Lady Drink is done. Next drink we got is for my number one best boy, Sadi. I am sorry, I'm a thirsty hoe, you can leave now. And that is Alistair. And for his drink, I wanted something a little more classy, some with a little more swagoo, if you know what I mean, and something involving strawberries, because we love our strawberry pimp, don't we? And I saw on the wiki that he likes dark coffee. So we are making a strawberry iced coffee refresher. So for Alistair's drink, you will need strawberry strawberries, of course, coffee, tonic water, strawberry syrup, and red fondant. So I used my black reusable straw, save the turtles, and I tried to use the red fondant to like make his mic, but I failed really, really bad, so if you, if you can do it and make it look better, fucking go, go right ahead, but um, you don't have to do this. It looks like complete shit, so we not gonna talk about it. And then you want to get your glass strawberry syrup on the bottom, as always. Fill your cup with ice almost to the top, but just leave a little room. Pour your coffee, add some strawberries on the top to fill up the glass, and then get one cup of tonic water and about two tablespoons of strawberry syrup. Mix it all up together and then pour it to fill up the glass. Put in your straw and then boom, you got Strawberry Pimp's drink. And next we got is his little cute little doll, our precious Nifty. And what we know about Nifty is that she died around the 50s and she has a poodle skirt. So a lot of you guys suggested a diner style milkshake. So for Nifty's drink, you will need milk, strawberries, strawberry syrup. Some of y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Some of you guys wanted me to spike it with Monster, so if you want, throw some friggin' fruit punch monster in there or some shit. If you want to be wild today. Whip toppings, red food coloring, and banana. First you want to get your blender, put in banana, crushed ice, and some milk. Blend it all up and then put it aside in the freezer. Clean out your blender or if you fucking too <laughs> Get some more crushed ice, your strawberries, and your strawberry syrup. And if you want to be that crazy motherfucker, put in your monster for god's sakes. Blend it up and then put it in the freezer as well. Get another cup and then put in spoonfuls of your whipped cream. And then you want to put several drops of your red food coloring into the glass with the whipped cream and mix it up. I was trying to go for like Nifty's hair, but the whipped cream only got so red. And then put your whipped cream aside. Next, you wanna get two sandwich bags. For one sandwich bag, put in your banana milkshake and in the other sandwich bag, put in your strawberry milkshake. I recommend putting them more in the freezer so they're more solid, not like hard, so they were thicker and not as liquidy. But I was trying to be all freaking pastry chef up in here. Hold them together, cut the corner off very carefully and then squeeze the bags into the glass to create kind of like a swirl. I try, okay? That's why I said I recommend leaving it in the freezer more so you have like more control over it, but I tried. And I don't even like banana, so I'm not gonna waste doing this again. And next you wanna get the cup of the red whipped cream, put it in a sandwich bag as well, cut the corner and put it on top of your milkshake. And boom. I didn't drink much of it, but it was pretty good. I don't really like banana that much. But my sister really enjoyed it. So that was all I needed to hear. And next drink we got is for Husk. And for his drink, I wanted to do something like a little more bitter, something you could mix with a cheap booze. So for Husk's drink, you will need cheap booze. You can either use your favorite beer, favorite liquor, whatever, because I don't drink nor do I like beer anyway. But for substitute, I will be using sparkling cider. You will also need Coke, 
black cherries and red sprinkles. First you want to do is our freaking rim sugar coating again. Get another plate, put your vanilla syrup or corn syrup, whatever the fuck. Get another plate and fill it with your red sugar sprinkles and then rim your glass with the syrup and then the red sprinkles. Next you want to fill your cup with ice but not all the way because we're gonna put other shit on it later. Get your cheap booze or your root beer, cider, favorite beer, whatever you choose to use and fill half of the glass with it. And then you want to have some frozen black cherries and just fill up the glass and put it on top. Next you want to get some blackberries and crush them so some juice could flow out. With a separate cup add a can of coke and then mix it with some black cherry juice along with some crushed black cherries just to really get that flavor out of there. And then pour it into the glass. And then boom, husks is done. I actually really like this drink. I don't know what it would taste with actual beer. Our last and final drink will be for Sir Pentius. And when I was first trying to figure out drinks for him, I was like, first of all, he's a freaking snake demon. And the first thing that came to my head was black venom. And you know, he a little fancy. He got freaking some Victorian era in him. So then I thought about tea. So for his drink, you will be needing iced tea, lemonade, and activated food grade black charcoal. Get your cup, fill it with ice, add a one to one, like a half cup of lemonade and a half cup of iced sweetened tea. Add some black charcoal. I specifically got this one because this one was specifically food grade and specifically for drinks. And you don't need to add a lot at all. The little really goes a long way. Stir it up and you should get a black as my bloody soul lemon iced tea. This drink is also one of my favorites, but yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's probably the most hardest and the most expensive cafe I've ever had to do. But I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all your suggestions for these drinks. You all definitely helped me out. If you have any other non-related things you want me to make cafe drink videos of, let me know in the comments below and I will make that happen. And also if you guys want freaking any other has-been related videos, because I I love has-been hotel. Like it is my everything. Freaking look at look at my freaking phone screen. Look at it. Look at my backdrop. Look at it. And let me know which drink do you want to try the most? That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my wave family. I love you very much now. See you next time. Bye!